Hi, I'm Philip Graham with Ear Trumpet Labs. We're here in the workshop. Welcome. We're building microphones in the background and I have all of our models here uh, to talk about. And I was hoping to discuss them and maybe make a little clearer what might be the right microphone choice um, for you if you're considering one of our microphones. So the things to think about are what are the sound sources that you want to capture and what kind of applications do you want to use it for? Um, recording or live sound reinforcement. To start with, we'll talk about Edwina, which is our um, probably our most popular microphone. It's really, it's a large diaphragm condenser, but it's really optimized for relatively close use for uh, a large diaphragm microphone. It's its particular strength. It uh, can be used as a close vocal mic, all out to about um, 16 or 18 inches. It has a really smooth tonal transition in that, in that range. And it'll sound a little bit thin out past that, though. So it's really optimized if you're going to be um, fairly close to the source that you have. It sounds really nice and as a vocal mic on acoustic instruments, really nice on acoustic guitar, fiddle, banjo, mandolin. That's kind of our first choice mic for particularly single source if you're just micing the one instrument. It will also work for voice and guitar. Um, it'll work well for um, you know, a singer-songwriter kind of voice and guitar performance for one performer when you can keep it within that you know, kind of one foot range. If you have more sources than that, if you have multiple players, a duet up through a full uh, string band, then we usually recommend the ring and spring suspended models that are really designed for that. This is uh, Myrtle and this is Louise. These are the main choices um, for that use. The main difference between them is just a difference in tone. Uh, the Louise is a little bit brighter and crisper, and the Myrtle is a little mellower sounding. It's not an extreme difference between them. They're both very natural sounding microphones. You'd hear the difference if you're able to compare them you know, in person on exactly the same sound source. But really, they're, you know, it's, it's not an extreme difference. I don't want to overstate that. But that's how you might make a choice between them, uh, is based on the tone. The Josephine is the, the third one of these ring models. Um, and Josephine sounds actually identical to the Louise. So the difference between those is just a difference in the look of them. You can just choose on aesthetics. The last one to consider in that, um, for that kind of application, would be Delphina. And Delphina sounds uh, practically the same as the Myrtle. So it has that mellower sound. It's just in the smaller form factor, slightly lower profile look to the larger ring and spring that the Myrtle has. Um, particularly for duets or smaller groups, if you want a sort of more low-key um, visual presentation, then Delphina can work really well for that. Among our other models, they're pretty, um, have fairly specific uses. So the Edna is our one small diaphragm mic. It's a great instrument mic, very good um, spot mic on guitar. It sounds wonderful on, some people really love it on banjo. Then we have Chantel, which is kind of optimized as our close vocal mic. Um, it's a large diaphragm condenser, similar to Edwina, um, but it has more pop filtering built into it, a little lower output, um, and is really good for a full condenser vocal mic sound on a louder stage. You can use this on a full rock stage with drums and electric instruments. Then we have Nadine for upright bass. And the Mabel which is our one multi-pattern microphone, typically more for studio and recording use. Um, gives you omnidirectional figure eight in addition to the cardioid. The, all the other mics are a fixed cardioid pattern. Mabel is a wonderful studio mic, particularly good on vocals. So that's our, uh, that's our microphone lineup. Hopefully that gave you a, a little quick taste of what, the, what might be the right one for you. 
If you have any further questions, we're always really happy to talk to you uh, and find out what exactly you want to do with your with the mic and uh, which which one of ours would be the right choice for you. So please give us a call or drop us a line, and we'll be happy to uh, happy to chat with you.